Hi, year 11. So, uh, I haven't done the uh, thermal decomposition of group two nitrates, so I wanted to show you those. I've got some magnesium nitrate here. Uh, the trend is gonna be exactly as we saw with the, the, uh, the group two carbonates uh, before. Let's uh, see what happens when I get some magnesium nitrate here. Magnesium nitrate in a in, in just a boiling tube here, and I've got uh, a rolling flame. And I've got to get myself a test tube bowl. Yep, cool. Bash. Right, so let's heat this and see what happens. So this is magnesium nitrate. We're just heating it hard. Um, you're going to see some water coming off here. Uh, this is because um, this is the crystallised version. Uh, a lot of ionic compounds. Um, have waters of crystallization, nitrates especially. So what you're seeing here is actually, it sort of beginning to sort of, there's a lot of water there. So we're just driving that off. Uh, a lot of these have uh, six waters of crystallization. What are we looking for here? We're looking for brown smoke. Eventually, we should see some brown smoke. The magnesium iron has quite high char charge density. It's gonna polarize the, the, the nitrate iron. And eventually, so see, once we've driven off all this water, we should be able to start seeing some brown smoke. I think I'm right in saying that we're beginning to see that now. So be confidently. Here we are. Yep. Yes. So there you can see the brown smoke. Okay, now, whenever you see brown smoke, a lot of people are tempted to say bromine's been formed. That's obviously not bromine. That's nitrogen dioxide that's coming off there. Uh, the nitrate iron has been pulled apart to form nitrogen dioxide and also a little bit of oxygen. I just put that in the fume cupboard. We're in the fume cupboard, obviously, nitrogen dioxide is an acidic gas, it's also a respiratory irritant. Let's look at the board, let's look at the equation, because it's a little bit more difficult than the group two carbonates. So a little bit tricky to balance more than anything else. So we've had magnesium nitrate here, it's decomposed to form magnesium oxide, a lot of nitrogen dioxide, but there is another gas given off as well. It's often asked on unit three, how can you test for this other gas as well? And a little bit of oxygen is given off, obviously, with a really light glow and split. Now, we talked about last time how charge density can polarise the, the, the cation. Um, what might we expect with lithium? Well, we would expect lithium to do a similar sort of reaction. Let's see if it does and then we'll compare that with sodium or potassium nitrate. So let's go back to the fume cupboard. Thanks, Melissa, and let's quickly get some stuff in there. So, I'm just getting another test tube prepared here. Um, we've got some lithium nitrate. Again, this is a hydrated form, I think. Just ram it in there. There we go. So we've got some lithium, oopsie, just so I'm not cheating, that's lithium nitrate there. Okay, put the top back on. Okay, well done, and let's see some, there we go. And once again, we're gonna heat. And we should, the lithium cation has a very similar charge density to the magnesium cation. Notice again, this is the hydrated form, so the initial thing we're seeing coming off is a lot of waters. Uh, waters are gonna boil away here. In fact, it's sort of dissolving in its own waters of crystallization. What we're hoping to see is brown smoke again. Will the lithium cation be able to polarize the nitrate ion like the magnesium two plus cation was able to do? And again, we've got to that point now where we're just waiting to see, are we gonna get any brown smoke? Come on, lithium, don't let me down. And lo and behold, you can begin to see, there we are, brown smoke. I hope that's fairly clear, you can see. Is that clear there? There's definite evidence of brown smoke coming off there with the lithium nitrate. Some of it seems to be dissolving the tube. I think you can see the top there. Can you see brown smoke there, mm -hmm. Lucy, yeah? yeah? Yeah, so the lithium nitrate has decomposed uh, to form some nitrogen dioxide and some oxygen. 
Uh, let me put the magnesium nitrate back. Let's now compare that with something like barium. Oh, let's go, should go straight to barium. Let's go to calcium nitrate and see what happens. This is slightly different to uh, the group two. And let's see how. So once again, just some calcium nitrate now, beating away. How many minutes are we up to so far, Melissa? Five minutes. Five minutes, so we've got to get on with it then. It takes ages to download these videos. They're such high quality, you see. <laughs> this is the level we go to. It takes ages to download them. This is calcium nitrate. It's a bit harder to decompose. A lot of waters of crystallization again. Will we get brown fumes? It's harder. And we are getting brown fumes, you can see. So, unlike the carbonates, all the nitrates will decompose. They just get more difficult to do so. But they will, and clearly brown smoke coming off that. When we did it with calcium carbonate, with the carbonates, we weren't getting any, the lime water to turn at all. So, difference here is that the group two nitrates will decompose, it just takes more effort to do so. Um, with the group two carbonates, the temperatures are so high that we can't do it in the lab. What about group one? Let's pause the video.